What's up, everybody? Go Burns with the Vapid Chino, a new muscle car that came with ill-gotten gains, part two, listed over Legendary Motorsports for $225,000, the cheapest vehicle that came with ill-gotten gains, part two. <laughs> Ah, uh, sad but true. Anyways, if you're interested in trying out the Chino and all the other Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2 rides for yourself, before you have to buy them in Grand Theft Auto Online, you can do so like I did with Trevor in Story Mode, or you can just try them out in a race, either or, whatever works better for you. But my impressions on the Vapid Chino is it's uh, a decent muscle car. It's uh, average at best. It's definitely um, not better than, say, the Gauntlet. The it looks good. I'll say it looks pretty good for a muscle car. But if you want a muscle car with that has the best performance, yeah, I, I would not go with the Chino, especially for that $225,000 price tag. I would go with something else like the Gauntlet or the Dominator, which you can just grab off the street, you know, GTA style, baby. Yeah. But if you're interested in adding this to your muscle car collection, you cannot go wrong with the Vapuccino has this stuff on the back now. Not really a big deal. Those plaques, well, I don't get it. To each their own, right? So, yeah, there are a few customization op options that come with the Chino that really do um, allow you to customize it, modify it, make it look like your own. And, I mean, honestly, I mean, I like this feature, the ability to switch it between roof and uh, non-roof or soft top. That is really cool, and I really wish that Rockstar would include that option with the Stallion, but I talked about that Sunday. Anyway, so I think that is all the mods, customization features regarding the Chino. Now, before you go and purchase any of these vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online regarding Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2, read the article linked below in the description section of the Newswire from Rockstar specifically the part about the 25% legendary motorsports rebate because the very first vehicle you buy this week off of legendary motorsports starting today and for the next week you will get 25% off and if you're planning on buying like the T20 which is 2.2 million dollars that means you're gonna get about 500 plus thousand dollars a half a meal back on July 19th so you want to think about what your first vehicle purchase is going to be, especially if you qualify for the 25% rebate, and all that information is linked below, along with all the other good stuff for Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2 in the description section. So you might want to go check that out before you buy any of these rides in Grand Theft Auto Online. By the way, let me know below in the comment section what is your thoughts, views, impressions regarding the Vapid Chino. By the way, it's not the only muscle car that came with Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2. That's right, the next muscle car we're going to talk about is one I did not expect. It's a surprise, a shock, a plot twist, one I did not see coming, but it's in the next video. I don't want to spoil it for you, but you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs>